Hey everyone, a very happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all. I'm very grateful and thankful for every one of you viewers, especially the subscribers. You're really what makes this channel work. We're getting close to that thousand subscribers mark and really that's where the magic can start to happen and that should open up a lot of opportunities for this channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Extra reason to do so is Super Clean is extending a very, very awesome little offer to us that I'll explain at the end of this video. So make sure you watch the whole thing. Let's go. Welcome back to Clear Lake Fishing TV. It's a beautiful morning on Clear Lake. The water's settled down. It ain't angry no more. Not a stitch of wind. This might be a good day. Uh, wind's not supposed to pick up till about three o'clock, so we might get a full day in. Plan for today is to start with some finesse, bump up to the reaction baits. I might even do some deeper jigging later. We're just gonna try and stay adaptable and see if we can figure them out. Let's go fishing. Okay, I don't know if that wind is really gonna pick up or not, so I'm gonna start off throwing my light finesse stuff because that is my favorite stuff. And I'm gonna do it while I can. So I'm gonna start off with that little Savage Gear Ned Craw again. It's been treating me pretty well out here. I'm just gonna start at the back of the bay and work my way all the way up to Lubo Point. If there's any day left after that, we'll figure it out. I love calm mornings out here. Yesterday was angry. That wind was so ferocious the day before that the lake just stayed stirred up. And then that wind kept getting worse and worse. I've been out there and much worse, don't get me wrong, but I'm not gonna sit there getting beat up to not catch anything. <clears throat> I went back to the house and just started editing video, so this morning a video dropped for y'all. Day one of this trip. Couple nice four pounders in there, four and a halfs, four and a thirds. What are we gonna catch today? Will it be her? I hope so. Good morning. Fish number one. Something hammered that bait. And I'm fixing to find out what it was. Maybe it was that guy. Come on. Oh, you pulling pretty good. There we go.
You are a beauty. No leeches in your mouth. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Have a great day. Guess I'm throwing crankbait. <laughs> well, we're off to a good start. Oh heck, I gotta put that one on the counter. Number 74. Next fish is gonna tie me for last year's total. Let's hope she's a good one. This little flat-sided crankbait has caught me fish this trip. I wish I knew what it was. I've been scouring the internet. I just can't figure it out. It's a bait I found. Maybe y'all can help me. Anybody recognize that? It's got these blue stripes on the back. I mean, it's almost a sexy shad. There's a blue hue to the side. I don't know. There's no markings on it, no markings on the bill. Seems to dive to about eight feet. I want to figure out what it is and buy all the ones I can find. That was a really, really fat fish. Healthy. Fish is giving that old boy a fight. You having trouble getting that thing up? Wonder if it's a catfish. There he got him. Woo! That's a big kitty. Gave you a workout. <laughs> 13, I'm gonna guess. I was gonna guess 13, that's great. Good work. Oh, I know. That first couple seconds, you think it's the bass of a lifetime. <laughs> Those catfish have been biting real good this year. Yeah, I bet I got more pounds in catfish than bass this year. <laughs> I've been out since Monday. Every day I catch like one to two in the four and a half pound class and then a bunch of like 12 to 15 inchers. I've caught so many stinking catfish on an underspin this year. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you set the hook into that thing. I was like, oh, good for him. <laughs> Have a great day, man. Got a nagging voice telling me to retie. 
So I'm gonna retie. Gotta listen to your gut, man. It's 9.15 and I already wanna eat my lunch. Just seemed like the kind of little cove that a bass would be in. I was right. Number three. Okay, so that's the one that tied me for last year. So there's nowhere to go but up from last year. Even if I don't catch another fish in 2023 at Clear Lake, I've done as good as I did last year. Ooh, are you gonna keep? I'm not sure you're gonna keep. You might be just a smidge small. Let's go to the board. Huh. Yep. That one doesn't keep. You're better. You'll keep for sure. A little keeper. Click, and we're better than last year. Thank you. One more fish than I got last year. Yes. Hole number 76. You pull hard. Well, you're pretty. Good fish, little three pounder. Okay, with that one, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, day's getting a little late and I got things to do back at the house. We covered water today. We started at uh, Lubo Point, Jones's Bay, Jago Bay, Bayless Cove, 
Bayless Point. Uh, oh, forgot Lakeview Point. Yeah, anyway, we had to cover water today to get that limit, but we did get it. It was five fish for about nine pounds. Uh, thank God for that last one. That really made a big difference, that three pounder. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. I think it had spent a day or two deep. It was very silver. Good looking fish. Uh, got them on what, crankbait? Flat-sided crankbait, got one on a underspin. What else is on the deck? Um, got one on the old Savage Gear Ned Craw again. And the Morning Dawn Robo Worm on the drop shot delivered that three pounder. Can't say I've figured them out. I think I'm just getting random fish in random spots. Uh, I'm not gonna complain, at least I'm getting them. But I'm gonna go home, do a little homework, uh, see where I'm gonna go tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day out here and I wanna try and make it a good one. Maybe I'll even head over to Rattlesnake. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming fishing with me. We'll catch you next time. See ya. Okay, so again, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're enjoying the day. If you're watching this after Thanksgiving, I hope you're having a great weekend and eating lots of leftovers. Um, again, super thankful for all of you, especially you subscribers. You're really making a lot of things possible. We're getting real close to that thousand subscriber mark. And uh, for those of you that caught my super clean video, the folks at Super Clean have extended a really nice offer to one lucky subscriber. One winner on this contest I got going is going to receive one bottle of original Super Clean and one can of their Super Clean aerosol. Both are fantastic. If you haven't seen what the products can do, I did make a video about it. I'll link it at the end of this. Uh, go ahead and click on that and check it out. But here's how the contest is going to work. Number one, you got to be a subscriber. Number two, I want you to click like on this video. Number three, I want you to leave me a comment. And it can be anything like, I'm in, sign me up. Uh, but preferably you give me some constructive feedback, something I can do in the video, something you like that I'm doing, something that's totally lame that I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm still trying to hone the craft. I've only been at this a couple years. It's a real steep learning curve. A lot of work goes into these things. I, you wouldn't even know unless you've tried to do it. But I'm working really hard. I'm trying to make these things better for everybody. Uh, hopefully you're getting some value out of them. And like I said, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. We're going to give everybody a week to participate in this contest. Thanksgiving's the 23rd. So last day of November, November 30th, I'm going to get on one of those random winner pickers and uh, we're going to pick a winner out of y'all. Again, got to be subscribed, like, and drop me a comment and preferably something with some feedback that I can use. Really appreciate y'all. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya.